Saudi Arabia is trying to diversify its economy by reducing its reliance on oil and becoming a tourism hub in the Middle East. The kingdom wants to attract 100 million tourists a year by 2030. That's more than the number of tourists visiting New York and Paris combined in pre-pandemic 2019. And to achieve that, you'd like people to feel entertained in the country. For example, this is the first ever movie cinema in Saudi Arabia, opened in 2018. The country banned commercial cinema back in the 1980s due to religious conservatism. If you wanted to see a movie on the big screen, you had to go to great lengths. Go to uh, another country. You had to go to another country to watch movies? Yes, to Dubai, uh, Bahrain, yes. The government's decision to lift this 35-year ban was especially welcomed by young people. I like the action movie. It's uh, great to be in Saudi Arabia and we hope to extend more than a thousand cinema. I even bumped into a local movie star here. First of all, my name is Faisal Jarais. I'm a Saudi actor. It was 2014. I actually studied acting in New York Film Academy Los Angeles and I came back to Saudi Arabia 2019. It, it was a crazy moment of my life to decide that you study acting that even though you don't have cinema in Saudi, but when it's open, I was like, it's my chance. So when movie's there, my movie's there, it's such a great feeling. It's not difficult to see how the changes in this country are aspiring people. Actually, the movie development is so crazy. Saudi have a lot of talent, but they didn't give us the chance. So now we have a very big industry. I promise, within the next like five years, 10 years, it's gonna be one of the biggest industry and we're going to compare with Hollywood soon, trust me. Yang Chongxi, CGTN, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia.